Mogadishu is a dangerous place. Security has improved since Al-Shabaab militias withdrew last month, but not a lot. Despite the insecurity, hundreds of thousands of Somalis have been streaming into the capital from surrounding areas. They're fleeing the worst famine to strike the region in 60 years. In a landmark visit, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, traveled to Mogadishu this week to visit with Somalis. He urged the international community to rapidly increase aid to people who have been through so much already. What makes us very emotional is to feel that for 20, 20 years these people have been suffering, uh, suffering enormously. Uh, of course, there is a lot of responsibility of Somalis uh, in the way things have happened, but let's also recognize that the international community has sometimes also be part of the problem and not part of the solution. Some aid is getting through. Fatuma has just been registered to receive assistance from UNHCR. She left her home and is now seeking help in the capital. She is camped with thousands of others in a settlement not far from the shoreline. UNHCR is providing plastic sheeting and other supplies. There are also food distributions. There are a total of 400,000 displaced people in and around Mogadishu. 100,000 arrived in the past two months alone. Getting assistance to them, despite the dangers, is an urgent priority. Otherwise, settlements like these are certain to grow.